Hey guys, Kevin with On Point Pro Styles in Gainesville, Georgia. We're going to install tint on a framed door window. Um, so I'm gonna walk you through the cleaning process. I've already got the film cut. Um, I'm gonna walk you through the cleaning and prep process and then we're gonna install it and I'll walk you through it. So let's get to it. All right guys, so the first step, I obviously cover the door panel. Um, I try to do that as much as possible. Uh, keep the electronics uh, nice and dry or as dry as you can. Uh, you can only do so much, but anyway, so the first process we're gonna do here, um, you would think or see razor blades and such. This is a, a 2020 model CRV, so um, windows feel pretty clean. I'm gonna keep a blade off of it. One way you can tell, one trick, is soak down the water and take your hand nice and flat and just run it around on the glass and if you feel anything that's really kind of feeling like it's stuck on grime, you might lightly tap it with a razor, but otherwise this window feels really good. So we're just gonna plastic it. So I've got me a plastic gator blade, which is great for scraping glass. So we're just gonna go across it. Really, we're just looking to knock down anything that might be kind of stuck to the glass. Roll our window down, get in those edges, get in those sides. Creep across the top. This is my method of doing it. It works for me. Um, I get uh, very clean installs from it. So, um, so we've plastic, plastic scraped. Now we've got our clay bar. Uh, you're gonna see me use this in a lot of videos, guys. Get you a clay bar. Well worth the investment. And now I'm just claying the glass. Claying a little over that top edge. It's really grimy. Look at that black line. Clay, we're gonna roll it up. Clay the whole glass. There we go. Now I'm gonna squeegee the glass along the bottom one time. I like to squeegee twice, so we'll respray the glass. I'm gonna squeegee across the bottom again. Use our corner card, in this case the tri edge. And come down the front. I'm going across the bottom. Any dirt and debris that's Caught the side, we're gonna roll it down to install level. Shouldn't be too much, about an inch and a half or so. I'm gonna re-wet the glass just a little bit. Now I'm gonna take my rag and I'm gonna scrub the top edge of the glass. Even though I clayed it, there's still gonna be some debris. So there you go. And then I wipe down the top of the door so I don't get any drips down into my film. So. Done that, now we do our, kind of our rough squeegee, I call it. Respray the glass, again, not too much on the top. We don't need anything running down. And now we're gonna take extra caution while squeegeeing, really cover the glass, really squeegee it off. I'm wiping the squeegee blade with my hand, not a rag in between strokes um, to try and clean off any debris that may have gotten on the squeegee in between. So now our corner card, I'm doing the same thing with the corner card too. I'm wiping it with my hand. I draw it, wipe it, draw it. Now we're gonna flush our sides. Not over the top, you're just gonna flush down, flush down, spray your glass. Don't get too much on the top, you don't want it coming down and running off, you're just spritz in the glass. So we're gonna get the film and install it. All right guys, so I'm uh, peeling on a peel board, AKA Honda Civic rear glass, very convenient. Um, anyways, not off the car. I've cleaned the, clear, the peel board uh, before I put the tint here to keep any contaminants uh, that might be on the glass from running down into the film. So, or as much as I can. So we're gonna spray the air. I'm gonna grab a corner, I'm peeling it down. Don't waste too much time doing this, it's static. So anything that's airborne will cling to the film. I'm spraying, I'm spraying and soaking the film, but I'm leaving this part not so sprayed. I don't want this up here to run back down on the film. So it's gotta be kind of quick, but anyways, it's sprayed, it's soaked. We're gonna put it on the car. All right, now this is the scariest part for especially new people. Um, you don't want to get all the way here drop the film or rub it all over the door frame. So you wanna get it clung to the glass as much as possible. And if you see, I'm folding up a little bit on the front and back. 
um, the pinch point um, so that we can slide this film into place and not worry about the film kind of bunching up too much and kind of causing a, a, a crease. So uh, I'm gonna tighten the top edge as much as I can. Now that you got it in place, you look good in the front, good in the back, full coverage beyond the seal, full coverage beyond the seal. So we're gonna respray the film. Now, put, pinch the glass in the film, nice and tight, and watch the film as you squeegee. You don't want it sliding around on you and ended up in a different position, sliding to the back as you're pulling to the back, and it will do that. As you adjust your slip in the summertime or come off your wintertime mix, um, you can end up with a little bit more slippery slip than you want. So right now I'm just doing really light squeegee strokes on it. I'm not putting heavy pressure on it, and I'm just kind of really lightly evacuating the water out of it. And once I got it squeegeed and it's pretty tacked, I'm gonna re-wet the film. Then I'm gonna do a harder squeegee. I'm still paying attention because I'm telling you, it can slide on you and you least expect it. A little bit harder squeegee, push more of the water out, really get it to tack. Make sure my top edge is good and squeegeed. Take my corner card. I like to use the short, short side. I'm gonna drive up this side, again, pinching the film. Don't want it to move. And on this side, I'm gonna push a little bit on the glass with my thumb to open up a little bit of a gap, and I'm just gonna roll down and squeegee out this side, the front side. There we go. Grab the bottom, lift it up. Again, guys, this is a two-stage. This is how I roll. This is how I do it. Uh, I try not to take anything apart. Just my motto. So, so we're gonna spray out the bottom. We're flushing out anything that may have somehow trapped its way underneath. I'm gonna pull slightly on the film to roll it in. Get to the middle part here. I'm gonna put my finger here, pull slightly on the film, roll it. I'm putting my finger here to keep it from pulling the film up that we just squeegee. The longer the film stays on the glass, less trash and contaminant chances you have of being under it. So we're gonna grab it here in the middle, right where our soap line is. We're gonna reach up underneath with our sprayer. Try not to touch the film. Spray to the sides from the middle. Again, flushing any contaminants. And now we're gonna tuck the bottom seal. Now in this particular vehicle, it's a really tight bottom seal. Um, so just bear with me as I work this into place. So I like to tuck, it's not working for me on this particular case, but I like to tuck the back and then I like to come to the front or vice versa, front first, then the back. So you're pulling back on the inner seal with your pick tool and then you're kind of just pushing the film down in below the gasket as you're moving the pick tool to pull the gasket open. So it can look a little crazy and it kind of is, but just go slow with it. Last thing you want to do is crinkle the film up as you're putting it down into the seal. This is a, again, tight seal on these CRVs. So make your cuts to drop just below the seal and, and that's it. It doesn't need anything further than that. It doesn't need to drop any more than that. So again, take your time. Only push down below the seal where your, your gasket cool or your your pick is so that that's an open part. You can push that bubble down. But once you got it all down, it'll look like that. Respray. This is how I like to squeegee. Um, I like to, and this will help with fingers on the bottom. So I kind of drive a little bit off the center and then I drive it kind of forward and down. Um, this helps stretch the film side to side without putting too much tension on the sides, um, creating fingers. And this works in most cases. Um, then use the corner of my squeegee to push that down. Same thing here. I'm just kind of driving down and sideways. Don't push it all the way into the side. You don't want to risk grabbing the film with the rubber squeegee and pulling it back. And then once I get it close enough to the side, I drive it down one good hard time. Now I do a harder squeegee. So just a simple extra pressure. Very nice. Again with the squeegee, push all that down. Same in the front, push all that down. Take our corner card. I use the short side coming downward. So we're gonna squeegee out the back side. I go right into the bottom, 
Some seals are really tight and you gotta use the pick tool to pull it out to get your hard card in it or your corner card. In this case, it was actually really easy. And then I use the longer on this side. It's much deeper down from the top, straight into the bottom gasket, straight across the bottom. Okay. Pull off our cover, wipe our panel, wipe our glass. Ugh. And we'll check the outside and see how we did. All right, guys, so it's installed. It looks really, really good. Contaminations, at this point, I don't see any. Um, I'm checking my edges, checking the bottom, any fingers or creases that may have crept up. But this window looks really, really good. Totally passable, totally acceptable. Um, actually, really good. So uh, make sure to check it over. If there's anything major, you know, take care of it if you can, otherwise redo it. But that's the basis of installing window tint on a uh, frame door window. So there it is, uh, Tint Depot's uh, Superior Charcoal 20% on this one, guys. So tintdepot.com, all the tools and tints you need. Uh, thanks for watching.